You gave your life to make a difference. You gave your life to make a change. You welcomed all. I want my life to make a difference. I want my life to make a change. I want my life to do some good here. I want my life to make a change. Work inside by side, no outer. things that I took from the trip was that God just, he really has a way of waking you up. Like you think, sometimes you want to close your eyes to the world because when you go through experiences, kind of like I have, like everybody has troubles in their life, but some people get a double dose. And there's always people dying in people's lives. And uh, when Amanda died from committing suicide, I was pretty traumatized. One of the things we did at the ELCA gathering as a group was we went to the convention center and we went to the station called War Games. It wasn't exactly games. <laughs> but uh, we would go into three different groups and learn about basically terrible things that happened, like the Holocaust and stuff like that and the group that I was in they talked about what happens in Bosnia and what you know they even forced people to rape each other in Bosnia and when I heard the guy start talk about that a bit I almost started crying I just wanted to run out in the hall and start crying because um, two years ago my cousin Amanda committed suicide because she had been traumatized so much from being raped in Germany I saw the world as a dark place, and I still did at the point when we were at the gathering. And that night, uh, Pastor Emily told me to tell the group why I had started crying in the hallway once we got out. And I told them about Amanda and why I had started crying and when they had talked about Bosnia. And um, everybody put their hand on either my shoulder or my head, and they prayed over me. And Paula had come around, like I was telling them about Amanda, and she'd come around and she had hugged me. And she was rubbing my shoulder, and while everybody was praying over me, I, I, just, I just wanted to start crying then too. Because, <laughs> you know, I really felt God's presence in that moment. Because, you know, you see the world as a dark place from experiences and things like that, and then all these people are around you, praying over you. You really, you can really feel God in moments like that. And another thing, that um, one of the speakers would talk about in our mass gatherings was that everybody had a light inside of them. Like we all turned on our cell phones and we waved it in the air in a dark, pretty much this superdome, and everybody was waving their cell phone lights and I thought it was beautiful because it's so dark and then there's all these lights and I realized when everybody was praying over me, oh my gosh, I got a click. <laughs> I saw, like, the world is a dark place, but everybody has a light inside of them, and it really woke me up when that happened, and that was, that was a huge slap in the face from God, and I, I really appreciate how I went on this trip and realized that that's one of the most important thing that I probably took from the trip. That was a slap in the face. That sounds like a very nice slap in the face. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, God. <laughs> Yeah.
<laughs> very yeah, a gentle slap in the face. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite things about the <laughs> gathering was how, like, there were so many different people there and just like from different places, but you all knew that you had one thing in common. So you could just go up and talk to someone and just start a conversation. And it wasn't like awkward or weird because you were just all a big community. And I thought that was really great. Well, the Superdome was a lot of fun. We walked there every night. And it was cool to just see all the speakers, and they were very inspiring. And it was also cool to see all the youth supporting them, because the speakers looked really happy to be a part of the gathering, and seeing all those youth helping them, like cheering them on, and it was cool. There were 33,309 people in the Superdome. Wow. What did you guys think of the gator that we had? That was chewy. Chewy. Oh, I didn't like it. I thought it was good. I like the <laughs> dry rub though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thanks for all the support for helping us go to New Orleans. Yep. Thank you, St. Luke's, for all your support. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the help making this trip possible. Just thank you to the congregation for supporting us and for going to our car wash. Uh, it was all greatly appreciated. <laughs> Thank you for helping support us on our trip. <laughs>